Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> welcome back to our YouTube channel, everyone. And if you're new here, then welcome. We have got another traveling vlog. Yep, another We're holiday away again. vlog. Yep. So excited to be away. This is actually the first time that we've been away on our own together without Millie and without like our friends or family in like. This three is actually years? our first like solo city break as well. Yeah, in, we've been together like seven years. We've yeah. never done a city break. From the title of this video, that we are in Budapest. Woo! Come to Budapest, it's well hot today. It has been hot and it will be hot yeah. for the rest of the week. So like, what's the time now? Like half six, yeah. we're heading out. We've had like a very chill day today, haven't we? We got some nice breakfast, we had some drinks on the river. Yeah. But we literally got up at like 2 a.m. this morning. And so we just needed like a little bit of a chilled out day and we thought we'd start this vlog this evening. Make sure if you enjoy this video, you give it a like as it really helps our channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, we'd love you to subscribe, join the family. We normally do like home content. Right, we're just heading out to, Joe's book this one. Yeah, it's called High Notes uh, Sky Bar. It's basically a rooftop, rooftop bar, just about 10 minutes walk. We're like located pretty central. We're pretty much on the main street, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go for some rooftop drink. Joe's actually been the one booking all these places this holiday, that, guys. Yeah. Oh, we're locked here. Do <laughs> Don't know. We did come through this way, didn't we? Okay, we're, we're now locked in. We're off to a good start, eh? No, the key. Oh, the key. So yeah, we managed to get out. <laughs> well, someone else was leaving, yeah, so we like were like button. just following them. There's like a button that you have to press to, to release the door. We definitely should have seen that button. I think this is a theater. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we're like, we're pretty, we were saying we're pretty centrally located. Like we've literally just come out of our, just come out of our hotel. And like, this is the, the main street. Quick, quick. Sky bar, oh. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> yeah, this, this sky bar is, it's got good reviews. It's like a little cocktail, it's a little bit swanky, hence why we've Dressed got the old swanky. smart clobber on. <laughs> so don't look out of place or any more out of place than what we would normally. Should have put these sun my sunglasses on. I didn't realise it was still so bright. It's really bright. But yeah, we'll catch up with you when you're when we're at the sky bar. Same as in Vegas. Aria, 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 in Vegas we saw. Cheers. 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 It clinks. Yeah. It doesn't clink because it's all the soap on yours. <laughs> Bethan's gone for the spicy mug and I've gone for the Tom Collins with the twist. So I'm going to try it. Tom That's Collins good. with a twist. That's good. Oh, yeah. I like. I've managed to get Joe on the spicy mugs as well now. Look at that piano. It's like a, it's like the Bentley of pianos. That, well, I'm, not that I'm into my pianos, but <laughs> not I'm just, saying from, your just saying from what it looks like. That was that was nice up there, wasn't it? It was lovely. Ten out of ten. Which is highly, I mean, yeah, I'm literally a forehead right now. But if you're in Budapest, ten out of ten, would highly recommend. We're gonna go and get some food. I think we're gonna try and find somewhere that's like there's a, a square out here with like some people sat outside. So we're gonna have a look around. Oh yeah, we love Gwan the square. And, yeah, <laughs> we've ended up yes. in the Mexican. It's, it's not Hungarian. It's not Hungarian. It's not Hungarian. We got we got stuck in stuck in the Mexican trap as as we did in in uh, Vegas. But yeah, we're here. Got a little bit of Mexican, so I'm gonna have a look at the menu. Hats off to this one for booking the most nicest cocktail bar in Budapest. That one, one right, didn't you? On on Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> got another one's going. Got another one to go to on Tuesday. Oh, oh, look, Leo, look at you! Look at you doing all the organisation. Well, you know me. Food has arrived. I've gone for chicken tacos, and Joe's gone for chimichanga. chimichanga. You've never had one of them before, have you? No, never. You look so brown, Joe, in this camera. I am brown, Living mate. Living Yeah. And we're back in the room. We haven't even given you a room tour yet. 
But to be honest, there isn't really a lot to it. This bathroom is so nice though. Um, they've done it up really nicely. It's got a massive rain shower, unreal. We had an absolute nightmare with luggage. Well, not a nightmare. That's such an exaggeration. We literally, hold on, don't know why I'm holding it this way. When we bought the flights to Budapest, they were literally like 60 pound or something like that. We saw them ages ago and we were like, let's book that. Booked it. I went to like add luggage a couple of weeks back and it said that it was gonna be 130 pound to add a 10 kilo bag of luggage, like 10 kilos, like one of these little cabin bags. I was at 130 pounds. So we had to literally just take hand luggage. I managed to get this like TikTok bag. I actually got it off of Amazon, but I think it's been viral on TikTok and um my friend told me about it and it's basically meant to be like the maximum size that you can take on the plane so this is the bag it's really sturdy actually and i fit loads in it that's the story of our luggage that's a really boring story for you i don't know why i told you that but um i'll link that tiktok bag because if anyone else ends up in that same position as us and has to pay 130 quid for 10 kilos then that bag's going to come in handy so would you like to be green slash blue or pink what do you reckon? What would you like to be? Green slash blue. Typical. Oh, Where did that go? It hit me. Good morning. Day two. Morning one. It's morning one, isn't it? Morning one. Morning one in Budapest. Sorry, I sound so. <laughs> Hello, you're right. Sorry, I sound so <coughs> nasal. We both do, to be fair. I sound yeah. a bit up. We obviously, we're sleeping with aircon, which always absolutely kills you, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, your throat always ends up so dry. And also, I've had like, I don't know whether I've got hay fever and a cold, because you're saying yeah. you've got a cold. My nose is like sore from, yeah. from being runny quite often. So anyway, we're not moaning because we're on holiday. Feel absolutely fine, just might sound a little bit weird, that's all. So this morning, we are going, what, what's it's the organiser? Ground Central Cafe. Ground Central Cafe um, for breakfast. So yeah. really excited. Joe said it looks like fancy breakfast. We love a fancy breakfast. We're absolutely buzzing because it seems like there's a massive coffee culture out here. And those of you that already watch our videos will know we are obsessed. Yeah. With coffee. They literally love it out here. Like even last night we were like out having dinner and there was like people sat drinking and drinking coffee at like nine o'clock at night. What a lovely morning. Love all these buildings. It's just on this corner, I think. Here we are. Oh, Outside, outside. Uh, outside would be good, yeah. I actually went with matcha, not coffee. The lady's happy with her matcha. It's nice to be that fair. That coffee I mean, looks amazing. This coffee looks unreal. And look at the little bicky. So apparently uh, there's, a, there's an island, well, not apparently, there's an island here called Margaret Island, which is in like the middle of the river. And you can get like these electric buggies that take you around. I think we should do it. Yeah, and it's like 20 quid for like a couple of hours. We should do it. And it's so nice weather. It'll be it's fun. Brilliant. Recky's turned up. And we've gone for... Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict. I've got high hopes. Ah, oh, perfect. Well done. now loads of people on instagram sent me like amazing lists of stuff to do here so thank you so much if you're watching this like it's been a massive help buggy 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 joe's the designated driver we're gonna have to slow down joe what this we can't run that side oh my god he's already overtaking people and we've only just got in the buggy <laughs> So nice here though. The weather, 10 out of 10. Go and get that pedal down, Jerry. It's flat down as it goes. <laughs> what do you reckon it is? Like 20 miles an hour? 20, nowhere near. Five. Five miles an hour, do you reckon? They see me rolling. <laughs> It's like a it's like a golf buggy basically, but it's got like it looks it's like it's got a brum front. You know yeah, brum, the little yellow car. A couple of the slushies, please. 
Yeah. Yeah, the dry food, yeah? Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay, there's some warm water. Got your slash? I've got me slash. Cheers. Cheers. Just spotted this little place called Hippie Island, which I think I saw on Instagram as well. Pretty cool, isn't it? There's the taxi. <laughs> Hiya, sorry. Yeah, we should definitely think about going to that pool if we... We've ended up in the city, city central, central food, food hall. City market hall, central market hall it's called. Might get my nana a little, get my nana a little thing there. Yeah, we're going to I don't really think that's a summer suitable Joe, but... Keep my head warm. <laughs> Imagine the sweat. Come upstairs in the feed market just to grab some food. We were planning on having a snack, but that don't look like a snack, does it? <laughs> um, this is like traditional Hungarian feed, I think. So I've got chicken leg, cabbage, the cabbage banging. And these are like dumplings. And then it's Joe's like a cone bread for... with like sausage, sausages, wow. cabbage. Yeah. It's pretty good. And chili. Culture of us, and we've got a bottle of what? A bottle of, um, bottle of so six pound wine. Hungarian Sauvignon Blanc, 2,900 foreign, which is about, I paid more for a pint. I paid almost double that for a pint. So I've gone for a small goulash soup to start. So I've got a small goulash soup and small beef stew. And Beth and got, what did you get? Chicken with mushrooms. It's like mushroom, fragged chicken thing. She's ordered a pudding. And it wouldn't be a meal out with. JP, if it wasn't a dessert order, would there? I had one last night and it tipped me over, didn't it? And like yeah, my the stomach and you went, was like, like a balloon. I literally get pregnant, so I'm not doing it. Yeah. I'll stick you to the vino. You just stick to the vino. Yeah. We come out of the uh, the old Hungarian restaurant and Beth was like, oh, I need to get a picture. I've spent all this time getting ready. I need to get a picture. I haven't had one yet. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Oh my God, look over there, actually. Mind out for the trams. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So we are. We have got the Budapest postcard background. To be fair. Good morning Sorry. people, welcome back. Good morning, we are on the last full day of our holiday already. We are. We actually had a bit of a nightmare with the camera yesterday. We took it out and we were like, we're going to record the whole day, we'll record the whole evening. And then our memory card was full and obviously didn't have a laptop on us. So then Joe booked a very nice bar called Leo, didn't you? Yeah. And it was over on the Buddha side. Buddha side? Yeah. Yeah, so you get like Buddha and Pest on each side of the river. And it was on the Buddha side, which we hadn't been over to yet. And it was so nice, wasn't it? We got like a full well nice. view of like... It was hot up there though. The parliament building. It was hot up there. Like they don't really do aircon here. Like it's not a thing. But yeah, this bar, you could literally like see the parliament building. And because we were there for like the sunset, we saw like the whole view from like the daytime 
right till like when it lit up in the evening, didn't yeah. we? It was so nice. Yeah, as the sun went down, the lights come on and it was like, yeah, it was really nice. After that, we were a little bit tipsy and I heard, or we were walking over the bridge back to the pest side and we could hear like this music popping off, like this, like you could hear people like screaming, cheering. And it was like this random boat on the river that was just having like a party, yeah, it was wasn't like a it? Boat, yeah, like it just a like boat party basically yeah, like boat party. and we were like oh there's no way we're gonna get on there it's rammed there was people sat all along the side of the river that obviously weren't on the boat like just having drinks it was a docked boat as well it wasn't like floating yeah around. no it, it was like literally around, docked was like... and then we asked the security we were like we'll just try our luck and he was like oh yeah it's free to get on and we were like what so we just walked on and the drinks like we paid a fiver for a beer and a vodka coke and it was literally all locals wasn't it like there wasn't they were any all singing English along people. in Hungarian <laughs> to this band and we were like yeah they were like yeah, going like, for it anyway today we're, gonna, today we're gonna go and there's a coffee shop which is not too far away so we're gonna go and sit and have a coffee and Beth was gonna do a little bit of editing Mr Organiser and then I think we, like, it's that's in the Jewish quarter, which I'm pretty much sure is like behind where we are. Oh, is it? Is it close? Yeah. yeah. I'm um, going to edit our other video. So I'm just going to edit a little bit of the video. Um, tonight we've got. Tonight we've got a really exciting thing to bring you on. Su sunset cruise. That would be good. That, that's um, starting about eight o'clock. So we've got to get down there for like half seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. the coffee machines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Both one for a cinnamon roll. Um, I've just been editing this video so that we can get a video up this week because otherwise we missed a week and we are renowned for missing weeks. Keep accidentally buying sparkling water and I hate sparkling water. <laughs> That's so annoying. I hate sparkling water too. Like that looks like still water it to does, me. yeah. We've both agreed that this place was the best coffee we've had so far. So if you Melbourne. come here and you like coffee, Little Melbourne Coffee, is that what it's called? Little Melbourne yeah. Coffee. So I'm going to take a break and we're going to go get a chimney cake. Guys, we had a bit of a change of plan. Well, swap round with the plan because we were going to have one of them chimney cakes like we just said, but we walked past and we both was like, mm, I don't know if I can stomach one of them now because we've had a couple of coffees. So we're going to go to a show you a couple of the ruin bars because we poked our head into one called Simpler Kurt just not too far away from the hotel the other day we didn't have a drink in there we ate in the caravan street food place next door if you don't know like in Budapest there are like I think there's loads of them but there's like a few like really iconic ruin bars that are like they're like old factories or old like dentist warehouses they make into bars and they're just super cool and like they're quite cheap as well I think when I come a few years with my mates we went into one just had a, like a big day session in there and it was really cool. We're right outside that caravan place which is where we got the burger on the first day. Joe's showing us the way to the room bar. It's literally right next to that caravan place. Look at it from the outside, it looks well cool don't it? Yeah it does look cool, craziness. So this is what it's called, si what do you call it? Simpler cut? Yeah, Close, Oh no. <laughs> Okay, it opens at three and it's one o'clock, so we're alcoholics clearly. Cause right, so ruin bar, simpler cut is closed, red ruin is closed. Okay, so all the ruin bars don't open till three. I feel like this happens to us regularly, Joe. Plan B, we're going to have a little walk around, then I'm going to finish editing the video, and then we're going to get chimney cake and go there for three o'clock, because we had a look at the other ruin bars and we definitely want to go to that one, don't that we? One, so, yeah, that one is cool. So that's the plan, guys. We'll, we'll probably see you when we try to repeat this whole process. Attempt two of trying to get some food and we go to We have had another plan, actually, we? Oh, have we? Last time we were saying we were going to get one of them chimney cakes. We've oh, decided yeah. to get one tomorrow now because we haven't actually all we've had is a cinnamon bun today. the whole day. I don't know why. When it's hot, you don't really get that hungry, do you? Yeah. Yeah. For these, um, I don't even know what you call them, but we literally seen people eating them everywhere, so it must be some kind of Hungarian favourite. I've gone for the classic, Joe's gone for like a spicy one. And then I've got a cherry beer, which I'm going to try, and Joe's just got beer. I'm just going to try a cherry beer. I hope I like it, I just hate it. <laughs> yeah, it has got cherry flavour though. Oh well, yeah, I'd imagine it's so. It's like the initial beer flavour I don't like, but then it turns to cherry. That's good. It's drinkable. And it's cheap. out of ten. Is it cheap? Uh, yeah, same as the beer. I'd say seven. Seven, oh, okay. It's well nice, this, isn't it? Mm. So good. Kind of like, it's just like fried bread, but it tastes banging. 
I get why it's popular. Right, it. this is attempt two. Attempt number two. <laughs> attempt two of going to the room bar. Pretty cool and all. Yeah, pretty cool and all up here. It's like a maze, isn't it? Just read on the wall, someone's written it smells like fish. <laughs> <laughs> So after a few drinks in the uh, in the ruin bar, we're off to a sunset da, da, da. cocktail cruise, Woo. which is going to be good fun. This is recommended by someone on Instagram, so I'm buzzing. Yeah, someone recommended it to us. So, so. excited. So. It says online that you're not meant to go in there intoxicated. Naughty. Whoops. Oh, too bad. Yeah, so we're going to go there and, and we'll show you when we get there. Do, 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 do. Sunset cocktail cruise. Yeah. Guys, I'm like a person on a school trip. We were the first people on the boat. I was like, we're gonna be the first people. It reminds me the... when we were in Thailand and we'd get like the night bus and we were like, I was like pushing out any, any man and his dog. I was like pushing old ladies out of the way just so I'd get, I'd get onto the plane, get onto the bus and have a seat next to each other. Look at that in the background. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, stop now. Oh, rain. there we go. <laughs> oh my God, it's just started rain. First drop of rain. It's started to rain now. And we've got lightning in the background. And we're, we're trying to find somewhere to intoxicated. eat food. Intoxicated. We're trying oh, to find no, somewhere to gonna, eat food. It's going to chuck it. Oh, God. We're trying to find somewhere to eat food, but. We're Bethan's, in the really Bethan's expensive area. We're in the expensive area. Look, it's actually Simon's dramatic. Burgers. This is dramatic. Also, we met the nicest couple in our boat Yeah, cruise. we met a New Zealand we couple. We literally barely filmed because we just had the best time with them, didn't we? In Isbamba. Don't, don't judge us, but Isbamba. there's KFC next door, so this is the best <laughs> next option. So we've not made it to KFC. Isbamba. Probably a Hungarian burger chain, but it's not KFC, so it's an absolute pie. And we are totally cultural. Oh my God. <laughs> I think we made the right choice. Literally like water all over the screen at this point. I think we made the right choice by it's coming in paper. here. Hmm? It's got a code on it, toilet 0410. I've gone for the Elvis bag, which is basically peanut butter jelly time. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God, it's got banana in it. Yeah, it's got banana in it as well. Guys, it's actually got, can you show them? It's got banana in it. It's got an actual banana in there. And Bethan's got a lonely old cheeseburger. No, no, mine's a chicken burger. Chicken burger, sorry. I would need to show the banana. Look, get under there. There's banana in there. It's up on plastic. <laughs> Beef burger, bacon, blueberry jam. Banana. Good morning, guys. It's yeah, our good last. Morning. It's our last day in Budapest. Cry. We're so sad to leave. Yeah. Such a cool city. We're actually going to go and get. I don't know if you can see us very well. We're actually going to go and get one of them chimney cakes that we said a couple of times about yesterday. And we still haven't had. Still haven't had one. <laughs> My hair is like wet. By the way, I'm just walking around and gonna let it dry naturally because I don't think I've done that in like four years. I think you choose which one on here as well. Oh. I'll just go cinnamon, I think. Yeah, I think I'll go cinnamon as well. And I'll go cinnamon with Twix. Twix. Hi, Anne. Hi, yeah. Um, can we get one cinnamon with the Twix and one cinnamon with just Nutella? Secured the goods. 
take all the goods. This one's Joe's melting. Look, Joe's looks uh, a lot more interesting than my one, not gonna lie. We've got ice cream, oh. Twix, and Nutella. Joe's getting stressed because it's going all over. It's going all over my hands. What's that, like cream or ice cream? Ice cream. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of it compared to Joe's hair. <laughs> what the hell, it's literally the size of your hair. Last stop of the holiday before we end this video. Joe's sussed out a shop that is exactly what he likes. And we're back. We just want to thank everyone for watching our holiday vlog. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you want to stick around yeah. and give this video a like if you did enjoy it. Come back next week because the garden renovation part one is going live. Bye. Peace.